Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. Today we're going to be continuing our Humidor unboxing and review series. Today, Shaw, what are we reviewing? It's the Adorini something or other. I don't know the model, but it's... It's a 150 count Humidor, comes in at 500 bucks, and we're going to be covering everything from the unboxing experience to how you may want to use it and if it's good value for money. Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And today we're going to be reviewing an additional humidor in the luxury section as it comes in at around $500. So, Charles Sleep, I know you're an unboxing expert, so let's get started. Yeah, I've got, got some good practice here recently. <laughs> <laughs> so today we've been looking at different, uh, you know, humidors here at the Bespoke Unit Studios. And this one is, I believe, around 150 count. It was kind of nice because they actually stated the Vitola that it would be for 150 cigars, which was 150 Monte Cristo number four cigars, mm. which was kind of nice as opposed to just giving a range um, so we can actually kind Random of- Random number uh, that could mean anything, anything at all. Anything, so it could be from Cigarillos to like double Coronas, who knows. But anyway, so this comes in a, it looks like a nice little- um, Looks like, almost know, like a shoe bag. A shoe bag, um, might be a pair of shoes included, who knows. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, we're unbagging now instead of <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> I really don't want to come out, so it's almost. How like many how many people does it take to unbox this? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's Ooh, nice. This is wow. really, yeah, very attractive. So we have this nice kind of wooden, I suppose, what they call it, parquetry kind of yeah. inlay. Um, and then we've got. You can see. Is this cherry wood or walnut? Either way, very nice. Yeah, we've got on the back side we have we have two hinges, one at either side, which is nice. Yeah, this is a very nice wood finish on it. It's got some solid. It sounds pretty solid. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Sounds pretty solid. Okay, we're going to go in for the sniff test. Let's do this shot. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's not great. That's great. That's really good. <laughs> so big thumbs up for the initial uh, smell test. Wow, the walls wow. are extremely thick. Wow, they are. So I don't know if we can tip this forward Look a bit for the that. second camera. This is amazing. Can, this, this, this is kind of. We reviewed the Diamond Crown uh, St. James series Alexander, and uh, yeah. this kind of... This seems extremely high quality yeah, from the initial... Yeah, it really does. Um, I mean, the, the veneer on the, the, on the Alexander was really impressive. It was very thick, but here... This is nice. I know this is their kind of, they, they call their proprietary tray as we have the, like the slots here and also has this ventilation gap as well, which is obviously reducing the amount of cigars you can store because of the ventilation gap. And we can also see here that the, the wood is ribbed inside. Um, for her pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do call the cigars ladies, so <laughs> for their pleasure. But this will, I should imagine because you've got a much more increased surface area, this may take a little longer to season. season yeah. um, so this is 150 count. Um, that sounds oh, very promising. Very nice. Very, very promising. Nice. Yeah. So we, we just confirmed that this is actually Spanish cedar because mm. that initial impact smell was, was just awesome. Very strong. Was I, I, I was a bit suspicious there to be yeah. honest. Because when we opened the, uh, the diamond <laughs> crown one, it was like a, a strong glue smell mm. as well. If this was season, I would just pop, you know, cigars in immediately. Um, mm. I was also mentioning that the the ribbed inner cage, and we've actually looked at the instructions yeah, because it does come with 27 a twenty-seven page manual, <laughs> a twenty-seven a page manual guide as well. But it, that's that's actually pretty nice. They got yeah. a kind of a quick guide here, if you can see, and it kind of lists out what we've got. So we've got a multitude of different things here, from you know dividers that could go into the walls, different yeah. things to hold the tray at a different height. And then you can even stick these labels on top of your divider, so you can label what's in there and you can organize it yourself so if you're one of those very very uh, particular particular and you like a very organized humidor I'm kind of like that I think you are too yeah then, I'm pretty organized yeah and yeah this is the thing for you so that, that's pretty great all these different all these different options we just get what else out there so you've got mm. keys here uh, mm. two sets that's nice to get two basic. keys very yeah. basic key just a just a flat ridge but mm. I mean uh, it's not gonna you know so what we got in the way of high, uh, humidity devices? This is actually a magnetic top, um, which is quite surprising because it is quite light actually. Um, sounds like there might be beads in there. Uh, sure. It's kind of that crystal gel stuff. Yeah. So it's not amazing. So it's no, it's no secret here that we are brand advocates and evangelists of uh, the Boveda system, just for its ease of use. You can check out links below on all the uh, Boveda related content we have. Mm. Um, you know, it's nice to have the magnetic top. Oh, for sure. It's, uh, it's actually quite a light top. You have a, you know, unfortunately, the most redundant of items possible, a analog hygrometer. 
you know, we're always going to want to use a calibratable and calibrated hygrometer when it comes to storing our cigars. Yes, these are technically calibratable. Whether they work or not is a massively dubious question. Uh, we put, oh, this one is made in Germany though, so you'd hope it would be a bit higher quality more than, than one of them, <laughs> more efficient than, uh, you know, one of the uh, kind of cheaper couple of dollar Chinese ones. Again, even though it's made in Germany, haven't tested it, so I can't attest to its quality. However, I wouldn't trust it. What I would probably use is something like the Bova de Butler or the Six Saw or the Sensor Push. Pretty Moving cool. on from the high grommeter, what else is included in the box here, Sean? So that's pretty cool. It does come with a humidifier liquid. Here it's distilled water with antibacterial silver ions, which doesn't make any sense to me, but it sounds cool. But at least they've made an effort. Yeah, but none of the other humidors we've got so far actually come with anything to anything. charge the, the humidifier with, so. Yeah, it's definitely got a nice still. weight to it. I think this is the most impressive one that we've unboxed so far mm. today. I mean, yes, it is, uh, you know, five, six times more expensive than the quality imports, so I get that. Mm. But I do feel it's a more impressive unit than the, you know, the Diamond Crown one that oh, we shot. Sure. But obviously, as this is a specific um, review, uh, what you're going to want to do when you always get a new uh, wooden humidor is to season it first as this mm -hmm. is 150 count you're going to want to use uh, well we advocate and suggest using the Boveda um, seasoning packs which are 85% RH so you'll probably want six in here one per 25 count leave it in there for a couple of weeks once you've got that then you'd literally and I'd also make sure that you season all the dividers you're going to use as well yeah, you're going to want to have shells, all the words so you can put in the different dividers and you can you know put it as high or low as you want to go um, and it's going to have nice airflow with this little tray here as well uh, all in all it's a pretty impressive unit I I'm think. actually pleasantly surprised I didn't know what to expect from this brand I didn't really know of it before I'm yeah so. so this is definitely the low end of luxury we consider luxury to be kind of over that um, kind of $500 price point all the way up to obviously five ten thousand and above or however crazy you want to kind of go um but yeah this at an entry level luxury humidor mm. i think this is definitely a good option uh i'm not 100 percent sold on always storing in wooden humidors because of the pros and cons of mm. them which we have a separate video below on that uh i actually store uh do long-term storage in just airtight containers um, and then if I'm going to pre-smoke them or I'm going to have them in a more public environment, I will switch them into a wooden humidor yeah. um, to kind of show them off a little bit more. Uh, a lot of people talk about the smell, uh, imparting the cedar flavor, etc. For me personally, very important. I, I am a huge proponent of that, but at the same time, I do appreciate that an air a real airtight seal is probably much more better definitely much more beneficial than a sweet cedar smell. Yeah, it's gonna make any of your, you know, uh, humidity sources last a lot longer, whether that's Bovida or something else mm. that you're using. Um, you know, so but I can definitely see there are pros to using a wooden humidor and uh, I think the next review we're gonna be doing today will be on uh, a pretty naughty treat I gave myself to get one of the uh, Winston Churchill Davidoff uh, humidors that were made in uh, Scholl's adopted country, France. How so. dare you, adopted? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like Captain Picard, I have an English accent, but I am Okay, actually... anyway, getting back to reality. You know, so if you have any questions or comments below, please feel free to put them in the section provided. Also, we would love to hear your experience if you've had this um, humidor for a number of years well, and even how if you know this held brand. up over time. Uh, this is our first kind of exposure to it, but overall, you know, feels nice and solid, got a nice weight to it, great smell, fantastic. I think this is the best uh, kind of kind of kit out system that mm. we've seen with the different calibratable uh, kind of sections within the uh, the humidor itself. Uh, so any of those questions or comments below, please like this video if you did like this video. Also subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications for all the upcoming uh, humidor reviews, cigar reviews, and other men's lifestyle content from watches, shoes, suits, whiskey, champagne, you name it, we pretty much cover it here if it's a uh, luxury indulgence. So it's a tough it's job. It's good for you. Yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> we're, we're probably the number yeah. one health site. I'm yeah, right oh, definitely. I know, yeah. If you want to, um, you know, die young and happy, you probably come here. So uh, leave a disclaimer, didn't mean it. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, with all that being said, my name's Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And we'll see you next time. Take care.